We could take questions now. Governor, with all respect to Council President Mathis, what do you say to the view of his choice to be mostly about positioning you for re-election next year? Yeah, so that's ridiculous. Um, this is about the work, uh, and it's not about any political agenda. Well, the, the people say in the community that she's the most powerful woman in the city of Providence. She give it that up into the Latino community. You, be, you betray the Latino community taking this position. This is a window dressing. What are you going to do, being Lieutenant Governor? He was the LT for so many years. He cannot accomplish anything. Just work with small business. It's a great man. But that is the wrong decision. A lot of people don't like this decision. Even you have to cancel the city of Patoque today. Because how are you going to bring Sabina Mato to the city of Patoque when the municipality leader was supporting James Yoda? Yeah, so we're starting in Providence, just like I did in Cumberland, right in, uh, right in the uh, in Sabina's district. Uh, that's where we'll meet be, be our first uh, small business. We'll be in all 39 cities and towns. And anybody who's saying that, uh, what you just said is just, uh, you know, just they're not, they're not living in reality. The Lieutenant Governor is going to do a lot of great things for the state of Rhode Island. And it's an inspirational story that now is a statewide story. And I'm so proud of the fact that uh, Sabine is standing with me here today. So there may be a few outside of the city. There may be a few in other parts of the state that Providence isn't a well-run city, whether it's the schools or the ATV issue. What are you telling people outside of Providence who there's now a bigger leader from Providence, Providence to be in a bigger significant role in the state? Yeah, so I think that Sabine has got the experience in terms of being a, being a leader, understanding a government, which is a really important thing. Also, her experience in the, in, in the in her professional life, working in the equity and the and the um, you know the areas that she works within the state office. We're going to really work on that office in terms of opportunity and uh, and equity in the state. And Sabine is going to bring that that very powerful message uh, throughout the state of Rhode Island. And we're going to build bridges, just like I did as lieutenant governor, just like I did with Rosa and others, to make sure we're in communities uh, that uh, you know maybe uh, they haven't seen. Uh, you know, somebody like Sabina in that community, they, she, they're going to love her when, by the time it's done. By the time it's done, they're all 39 cities and towns. It's going to be a very powerful message. And I, like I said in my talk, Sabina's story is our story. It's my story. It's the same story that we had when, we, when my family settled here in Rhode Island uh, years ago, 100 years ago or more. Her story is the same story. That's why people are going to really appreciate the fact that uh, we're all one state and we're going to make it that way. So I, I would just say that she has the experience to do what we need to do in the state of Rhode Island, and she brings some very really valuable leadership uh, right, to, right to the state house. And I'm looking forward to working with her. Specifically, what will her role be? Are you giving her any responsibility to prevent uh, sort of the situation that you had with Governor Raimondo, where there isn't a lot going on between LC and Governor? Well, I think I mentioned that in my open comments. We've got a great opportunity to show how a lieutenant governor and governor can work as one team. Uh, for the best interest of the state of Rhode Island. Specific yeah, area, health care, education, any, any specific? The office is pretty well defined, as I said when I became lieutenant governor, small business, long-term health care, Alzheimer's issues, uh, emergency management, and then as you mentioned, as, uh, as, the, uh, as Sabina mentioned, uh, housing is a real issue as well. So there's going to be a, a big role for the lieutenant governor. She'll be at, she'll be at our press conferences. So you're going to be able to hear what her agenda is, what she's working on on a weekly basis with me. And uh, you know, as soon as we get past this COVID, she'll be at our press conference tomorrow. She'll be involved in all the meetings that have to do with, with COVID and the, and the emergency situations that we're in right now. There's much to do and that she's going to be very involved. And I know how to do that. You're going to delegate some of your duties to Sabina Mato? Absolutely. Sabina is going to be a part of, the, uh, part of our team, part of our administration. Just like I've seen, uh, I chaired the National Lieutenant Governors Associations a few years back. I traveled around the country meeting lieutenant governors who had governance models that were uh, really working. So a lieutenant governor and a governor were, were, were not only uh, were, were managing together, that's, you're going to see that. And it'll unfold in front of your eyes in terms of how we're going to make that work in a real significant way. Not only during the COVID, not only during this crisis, but beyond that, because that's what we're focused on, right? We're focused on reopening Rhode Island, reopening the schools, reopening the economy. And Sabina's going to play a, a, a significant role in that as Lieutenant Governor if she is uh, uh, you know, approved by the uh, Senate when we present her name. What do you, what do you want to accomplish as Lieutenant Governor? What's your number one priority? Thank you. The priority right now for the governor and I is, as I said earlier, is to continue to make sure that everyone who get, wants to get vaccinated gets access to, the, get access to the vaccine. That's going to be the priority for us, number one. 
Gracias. Para mí es totalmente un honor y también siento el peso de la responsabilidad que eso significa. Cuando uno es el primero en algo, tiene una responsabilidad muy grande de asegurarse de hacer un buen trabajo para no dañar la imagen de los que puedan venir uh, después. Para mí es totalmente un honor esta oportunidad y de compartir este momento acá afuera con mis uh, amistades y mis familiares y las las jóvenes de la familia. Eh, con el gobernador, la, nuestra prioridad es asegurarnos que todo el mundo que quiera recibir una vacuna tenga acceso a la vacuna. Asegurarnos que la vacuna esté disponible en los vecindarios y cerca de las, de las personas que la necesitan. Esa es la prioridad número uno. Y como mencioné antes, algo que es muy importante para mí es uh, asegurarnos de que haya viviendas asequibles a bajos precios en todo el estado de Rhode Island. Y estoy buscando la oportunidad de trabajar con el gobernador en asegurarnos que haya una agenda de todo el estado para crear más viviendas. I don't think that's correct. The office has, and as Governor McKee, when he was the Lieutenant Governor, he shows how much that office can do. Working with the cities and towns is very important. That's a work that needs to continue. To continue working with our elderly is also important. That's not wasting money. What I think that moving forward, um, my hope is, and the conversation I had with the Governor, is that we're going to be working in partnership to make sure that we are coordinating and make sure that we can do the best work for the residents of Rhode Island. Last week, last week, we had a council president. Why is this role, why did you want to take it, why is it more appealing than being the city council president as opposed to simply the mayor of Providence? This is an amazing opportunity to do the work that I was doing for the residents of the city of Providence, to do it for the residents of the state of Rhode Island. Uh, it's an opportunity to work with different communities outside of Providence. Uh, the question is, why not? I think that this is a great opportunity for me to um, give back to the state. Governor, what's the number one thing that Nothing you can do with the Governor. Last week there was, a, there was a group calling for a mass vaccination event, a weekend for people of color. Do you support that? Are there any plans to do that now? There's a lot of logistics that needs to go with that. Uh, the governor has been in contact with the group that had the press conference, but I can uh, let the governor address that. Yeah, so on that issue, uh, we, we can see that there's a, uh, you know, a percentage basis that's, that's uh, uh, you know, imbalanced. We're, gonna, we're working on that now. I think that there's gonna be a, a tour right now of the Dunk Center with, the, with that group, with our office. So we're, we're right on top of that. And, it, it, we're, we're going to get shots in the arms of everybody in the state of Rhode Island, regardless of where they live or what nationality they are or the color of their skin. Governor, Governor, what, we have, we have what have you learned in your time as lieutenant governor? Is a piece of advice you would give to Council President Montrose right now? Work hard. Just work hard for the people of the state of Rhode Island. It, the, you know, it was mentioned, you know, it's the work. It's the work of the people. That we have, we have this tremendous opportunity in the positions we're in right now, and the Lieutenant Governor uh, Matos will have the same opportunity to help the people of the state of Rhode Island and make sure that this is a state that, 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 that we, we, we uh, achieve our potential, and everyone that lives in our state achieves our potential. So work hard, and hard work, uh, you know, do your best, and, and, and to do your best is really hard work. So thank you so much for being here today. Are you going to step down? When are you going to step down from the city council? And when's the confirmation hearing? So that's the decision of the Senate, so I'm looking forward to having this conversation with the leadership of the Senate. Thank you guys.